This is politics. Haitian style. Hundreds of people crammed into the streets outside the Provisional Electoral Council, or CEP, on Saturday, just hours before the registration deadline for potential presidential candidates. The final list of those who qualify as nominees will be released on August 17th. And Jude Celestin is widely touted as the man to be. Can you tell us about uh, why you're running? Today? He's been handpicked by the current president, okay, Rene Preval, of the ruling sure. Unity Party. This election is not about one person, it's about all of us. It's about upholding basic democratic structures. I'm fighting for development and stability. With all the attention these potential candidates for president are receiving, many, however, are still asking whether Haiti is ready to hold elections in November. We tried to ask the president of the CEP, Gailo Dosanville, whether Haiti was ready to have a nationwide vote so soon soon after the devastating earthquake which affected a third of the country's population. He refused to comment. Independent presidential hopeful Dr. Mario Eddy Gabriel Rodriguez says despite the enormous difficulties, the country is ready to hold an election. Yes, we have our concerns as well. However, we are hoping that from now to the election day, there will be sufficient uh, uh, arrangements, infrastructures established um, to allow people to express their opinion. At least 300,000 people were killed in the earthquake and as a result there are now major concerns over voter fraud. Lost ID cards is also seen as an issue. Many of the one and a half million survivors still living in makeshift camps are without proper identification. People in Haiti don't have any place to live. Forget about voting. Camille Chalmers is an economist and political observer. We run the risk that these elections could actually throw Haiti into a political crisis. The mechanisms in place are not representative enough. All of this could create a confidence crisis among Haitians. As of the Saturday midnight deadline, there are at least 20 candidates who have registered to run in November's election. And while the race for the presidency has attracted attention from around the world, the reality is for many Haitians affected by the quake, all they want from their political leaders is to improve the conditions they find themselves in nearly seven months after the devastating earthquake. A situation many don't see changing whether a vote happens or not. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.